who is Angelie Sabinal? That was the question on most people's lips at one iron will this past March, when the debuting Adam Waite took on hometown favorite Rika Tiny Doll Ishij in Bangkok, Thailand. Ishij was heavily favored to win the bout against the relatively unknown Filipina, who entered straight into a high profile match on a stacked card. However, Sabinal soon educated the crowds, showing them who she is and what's she capable of. Dexplorer pulled off a major upset in her first one championship outing, greatly relying on her savvy striking background to rout the rising Thai star via unanimous decision. The national Muay Thai silver medalist showcased her accurate striking early on, peppering Ishij with stinging kicks and stiff punches. Although Ishij boldly traded strikes with the Filipina kickboxer from bell to bell, Sabinal pulled away in the final round, landing the more telling blows. In the end, all three judges at cage side rewarded her efforts with a clear-cut decision, and the thousands in attendance at the Impact Arena on that night were instantly introduced to the name of Anjali Sabinal. I did not know what to do. Do I celebrate? Or do I cry? She recalled. I was really surprised because I did not expect the outcome. Dot I couldn't explain the feeling at the exact moment my name was announced as the winner. Dot Sabino garnered instant attention with the high profile wind, but the softly spoken 29 year old, who teaches mathematics at the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, is still taking time to adjust. Her breakout performance eight months ago quickly caught the attention of her peers because the way in which she dominated Ishij was more akin to a seasoned veteran than a first-timer. However, unknown to many, Sabinal was a late bloomer in martial arts. She only started training in Muay Thai a few years after getting her college diploma. I never thought that I would be a martial artist because I didn't have the interest to try it back then. I was a volleyball player in grade school. Maybe it's my competitive spirit that brought me into this position right now. I enrolled in Muay Thai classes purely for fitness and self-defense, she continued. It took me five years to finally try to compete in Muay Thai because it never crossed my mind to compete nor become a fighter. Dot at the age of 22, Sabinal started to learn the ropes of Muay Thai at Mindanao Ultimate Mixed Martial Arts, a home to the best and brightest talents in the Philippines' southernmost major island of Mindanao. It took her five years to muster up enough courage to climb into the ring right after she finished her master's degree. I was busy finishing my dissertation paper for my master's degree. My priority at that time was to graduate, if not with honors. Although I was really progressing in Muay Thai, my focus was still fixed on getting a diploma, Sabinal stated. After I earned my master's degree, my coaches were the first ones who congratulated me, but after that, they asked me if I wanted to join the team. It was in 2017 when I accepted the offer. Well, the rest is history. It did not take long for Sabinal to capture gold medals on a provincial level, leading her to the 2017 Philippine National Muay Thai Championship, where she attained a second place finish in the 57 kilogram category. I got silver, despite the fact that I am naturally a 49 kilogram competitor, Sabinal recalled. I was supposed to fight in the 50 kilogram category, but unfortunately, I didn't have any opponent. I decided to fight in a higher weight class. Fortunately, I finished the tourney with a silver medal in hand. 
Sabinal's success in Muay Thai gained the interest of one championship, giving her a chance to compete in the world's largest martial arts organization. Dexplorer did not disappoint as she made the most of her big opportunity, convincingly defeating Ishij over the course of three rounds. I could not believe it because people were telling me that I should compete in the local scene first before I get my chance in one championship, she explained. Aside from that, my opponent was clearly more experienced than me. Getting the victory over Rika is like winning a world championship. Sabinal returns to action at one Warriors Dream on Saturday, 17 November in Jakarta, Indonesia, where she is slated to face Sea Games Washu bronze medalist Priscilla Hurtati Lumbengal. With her morale at an all time high, Sabinal is confident that she will have her hand raised in triumph at the expense of a local favorite once again, despite the fact that Lumbengal has won four of her previous five contests in 2018. I want to win again because I want to give back to my gym and the people who love and support me. I am competing for my country. Everything I do is for all of them, and as long as I can do this, I will keep doing this, she expressed. Sabinal may be stepping on Indonesian soil with little fanfare, similar to her match with Ishij earlier this year, but the Filipino warrior believes that she will educate the crowds with another upset victory. I don't mind if they have no idea who I am before the fight. What matters most is that the fans in Jakarta will remember me after the match. Surely, I will do my best in my upcoming bout this Saturday.